What is up, everybody? Was that me? Was I dinging? All right, all right. I wish I was Australian. How cool would that be? Okay, everybody, looks dark because I got my light over there because um, we're gonna be wrapping some presents. But first, we got some kombuchki, some kombuchka, and we pour it in a wine glass. <coughs> we are fancy here, we drink kombucha in a glass. It's so dark, I hate it. And it's so dark, like this is dark. Watch, look at the difference. This is why you need to care about your lighting placement. Look at that, we are in high definition, baby. High def. If you guys watched my Amazon Fresh video, my lighting was on fleek, and that's because I had like three lights. Anyways, I've been on YouTube for a year now, and I learned a lot about lighting. If you're a creator and you have not looked into lighting, you really should. Um, literally learn about it, learn about shadows, lighting placements different types of lights also learn about the sunlight it matters it just does i probably watched at least 10 videos here on youtube about lighting and we now have a lot of lights which two were expensive and the other two weren't and the least expensive ones are my favorite but Kombuchki's ready and full. Gonna give David his and then let's go wrap some presents. Oh, yeah Before we get to wrapping some presents Here's some cute little houses that we saw here in the neighborhood with their Christmas lights. Enjoy Wally is ready to wrap some presents. Look at him. He's the first one here. You ready to wrap some presents, bro? Excuse me, Wally. I don't know what you're doing here, sir. We got the wrapping paper. Ah, sh the wrapping paper, the tape, and maybe an influencer. The scissors. <laughs> Where's my kombucha? Hold. Pause for a moment. Kombucha! If you guys hear squeaking noises, it's Wally. Look it! I have this leftover. Should I reuse it? I should, huh? It should be economical. Or does that make me a cheap ass? Nah, I mean, it's in good condition. It, you're just gonna rip it. Then you're just gonna rip it. And it's in good condition. Look at it another is. one. It's not even like messed up or anything. Okay. So, we have stuff that's already been wrapped, obviously. Let's wrap Wally's present first. I wanted oh, to, I need shipping I tape to wrap for the boxes. It, I wanted to wrap it with just the paper so we could just give it to him. He could, like, rip it. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna wrap Wally's gift here. Let me pull the angle lower so you guys can see. I am not good at wrapping people. Bows. Okay, that's how we wrapped it. Um, I kind of left it easy to tug so he can open it himself. Now we're gonna add a bow. Let's give him a red bow. Okay. Okay. Now we got this big one. See, we can get some Nike shoes in here. This know. is David's gift to himself, and he wants me to wrap it. Yay. This isn't going very well. Oh, que la. It's not cheap. This is what wrapping paper does, David. It's Damn, paper. Nah, nah. I had like. You had bougie paper? Nah, not bougie. Can, can you guys tell me? Is there? 
are different qualities in wrapping paper? Is there a bougie wrapping paper that doesn't rip or something? Or doesn't crinkle? It doesn't crinkle? Is that what bougie paper does? Nah, this one's just like super thin. No, it's not! It's not thin at all! This is normal wrapping paper. Let's do it again! Have you guys seen the TikTok of the guy singing the Christmas Feliz Navidad! Prospero Banya and Feliz Dawn. If you have it, you're welcome. Here it is. Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad, Respera Banya Felicita. Respera Banya Felicita. What color do you want your bow, sir? It's a white bow. That's not the middle. Ta da! It's big enough. Just kidding. One more for tonight. Last one, this one. Oh, it doesn't have, we don't have tape to close it. That's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. So, that's it for the Christmas wrapping gifts. You sip real quick. I act like I'm drinking wine and shit. We have more stuff to wrap, but they're coming in the mail tomorrow. So we'll be wrapping the rest, but this is all we have now. Let me show you guys. These are all the presents we got. These are presents for his family. These are presents from my family. This is David and Wally's presents. And this is a present from my family. Tomorrow we have more presents coming in. Some presents from my mom and my stepdad. This is our cute little Christmas tree. Isn't it so cute? I wish it could be like a Pinterest aesthetically pleasing, but I'll try to uh, strive for that next year. Alrighty guys, and I wanted to announce that the giveaway winner will be announced in the next video which this video here is late by a day and the next video is going to be late by a day so vlogmas day 12 is going to be uploaded on the 25th the latest the 26th we'll have the giveaway winners and i'm doing it that way because i actually work on the 24th so that's already like 90% of my day. And then I don't know if we're gonna be leaving immediately to David's family's house. And so if we are, that's far. And it's just, I don't have time to like edit and upload that. And then I don't know if we're gonna be staying out there. So it's just, I don't know our, my timeline to be able to upload the last vlogmas. But the winners will be announced there, so stay tuned. It'll be coming out for sure. And I just wanted to go over my beautiful vision board that I started this year. I just wanted to share it with you guys. So in the beginning of 2020, I want to say I probably had 25 subscribers. And my videos were being filmed on an iPhone 7, I think I had. I was super shy, didn't know how to do YouTube. Now I don't care, I'm just myself. But that was like the beginning of my YouTube journey and I actually did a video on my vision board, but I took it down because the quality is lacking and then I just felt like I wasn't being myself because I was still so shy. But I'm gonna go over it with you guys and see what happened and what didn't happen and why I think certain things didn't come to fruition this year. So let's start off here and we'll work zigzag down. So number one right here, we have my Mexico family, my grandma and my cousins and my tias. And this represents vacation to somewhere tropical. So we all know passport and in the plane, we all know what happened here. So I'm actually, um, I renewed my passport this year, so that's cool. I was supposed to visit my family in February, so I'm take a tropical vacation later in the year. But... I had to cancel all that, obviously, but I am going to be going next week to visit my family because it's my dad's 50th birthday and I don't want to miss it. So I'm going to be visiting my dad. I'm literally going to go like freaking over the weekend. That's it. But I'm going to be there. My family actually lives by the beach, so that kind of manifests in itself because it is tropical there and it's humid. It's freaking hot. This came true. Moving on. This represented David and I still being together. This represented David and I being together, we're still together. This represented concerts, which uh, we're supposed to go to Coachella this year again. 
And I also had one Janae Aiko tickets on the radio, so that would have been another concert. I also wanted to see Billie Eilish and Justin Bieber, and I was gonna go to these concerts alone if nobody was gonna come with me. Over here is my YouTube. These pictures right here, these I think these first two are private videos, so I don't like it. And I have right here 100K subscribers. That didn't happen, but I'm very happy with the people who did subscribe. I appreciate you guys. This right here was manifesting uh, moving out and having our own apartment, which we do now. We moved from Orange County to LA, and we manifested this. It happened. This came to fruition. So then we moved down here, and we have Kiss of Fem pays your bills for a year. And this didn't come true, mostly because I don't feel like I tried hard enough. So the the universe didn't deliver. I wasn't, you have to listen on the radio all freaking day. And I didn't try hard enough. I missed a lot of names. So this could have came true, but it didn't. Down here, we're with some fitness. This, it came true. I worked out pretty much the entire year, so yes. And then down here just represents me wanting to level up my clothes, which I've been working on. And then Forbes 30 under 30, this is more of just like inspiration. It's not like I knew this was going to happen or I wanted it to happen. It was just like more inspiration. And here's all about money. This is the last part. It's all about like money and abundance, debt free. I paid off all my credit cards. The only debt I owe are my student loans and car. That's it. Then um, down here is some money, which I mean we got money, we got some stimulus checks, that's money. Cut student loans. I want to say I manifested this, but I didn't, but I did, but I didn't because we didn't have to pay student loans this year because of COVID. I did make payments, but we were not being charged interest, which is a huge deal. So kind of manifested this, kind of, sort of, I don't know. And that's it. Financial freedom next exit. 2021. Oh so yeah, that's my vision board. Basically everything came true except being extremely rich, being done with my student loans, and winning winning Kiss FM's pay my bills for a year, and also the 100k subscribers on YouTube, which I'm gonna put on my next vision board as well. I'll share my new vision board with you guys. So yeah, I just wanted to share my vision board because I think it's super cute. So cute. I just wanted to show you guys. Um, I'm a huge believer in like the law of attraction, spirituality, and manifestations, all that. So I wanted to share it with you guys. A lot of this did come true. I managed to manifest me a lot of things. And here we are. And I manifested Wally, even though he's not on my vision board. He came sooner. He came sooner than I thought. Ha, ba, ba. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 11. Can you guys believe we made it 11 days? For me, it was extremely difficult, but I didn't. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And you know what? Click that little bell, that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I post and you won't miss a single video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.